We're now going to look at two octave major scales. We're going to build on what you know from the one octave major scales. You know that one octave scales utilize the 3-4 finger pattern when we start with first finger on the G string. Now we're going to start with first finger on the G string and it'll be the 3-4 finger pattern on the G string, 3-4 on the D, 2-3 on the A string, and 2-3 on the E string. Let's do an A flat major scale so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me do that same pattern, two octave scale, A major. This finger pattern is the same for the A flat, A, B flat, B, C, and C sharp major scales. On the G major scale, starting on open G, you know we use the 2 3 finger pattern on the G and the D string. When we get to the A, it will be the 1 2 pattern, and when we get to the E, it is also the 1 2 pattern. On the D major scale, we do have to do a little shift on the E string. So we'll do the 2-3 finger pattern on the D string, 2-3 on the A, 1-2 on the E, and then we'll shift up to first finger after that first 1-2 pattern. Finally, when we start with first finger on the D string, that is for the E flat, E, F, and F sharp scales, the finger pattern is as follows. It's the 3-4 finger pattern on the D string, 3-4 on the A string, would be a 2-3 finger pattern on the D string, but we're going to shift um, after your second finger, and then once you shift up, it will be one, two, three, four, and an extended fourth finger, as follows. I'm going to do a E major scale. Mm -hmm. 